In this update, we got new daily missions, um, just a bunch of new stuff, moveset saving, uh, you guys have been requesting that for a while, we got Azim buffs, Bolt buffs, uh, just a bunch of buffs and fixes, Azim, uh, we have a new um, Senko Kunai, the new Azim Senko Kunai, mm -hmm. a Sriracha rework, uh, uh, the Sriracha boss, uh, and uh, some new game modes, uh, some game modes got removed, we'll talk about okay, that. So you guys uh, been asking for some new daily missions for quite some time now, so we actually removed uh some of the most useless daily missions i'll tell you which one we we removed so far so it's a perfect block daily mission no one was doing that it's just like a hassle to do it so what we're replacing it with so there's gonna be play game mode for 20 minutes um and complete duels like complete some duels on dueling pads um the next one is defeat a boss like four times so there's three new daily missions we're gonna be experimenting it with it so um look you guys might see a new goo over here on your screen so this is moveset saving so you can save up to five moveset right now i have i have it empty it's all resetted uh you guys are gonna see i'm gonna like just save this moveset as remember my old moveset um now the first one is free for free to play players it's almost like having a free bloodline bag so the first one's gonna be free and then the last these are all for the bloodline game pass so i'm gonna lo load this you can see you can have you can load back all your movesets the way it was your kenjutsu your martial arts so there's a cooldown before you can load back and load in the cooldown is placed so people in modes like arena game modes don't just like load in movesets like instantly obviously if you're using a cooldown 37 seconds but if you're using a cooldown move it's still gonna be the key is still gonna be cooldown you're being damaged you're not gonna be able to like just switch a moveset instantly and trick up the opponent um like mid game you're, you're obviously gonna have to like just wait a timer uh to load in and load out but the azim senko kunai let me show you this so this is a we're experimenting with this so you can throw this and then uh you press e and then you teleport so um ready there's there's obviously like a distance that you can go to so you see that's where the distance is uh boom so i can just teleport to them I know a lot of people have been asking for in the in the original shinobi life we had a kunai kind of like this and a lot of people have been asking for a weapon like this so aspect of uh being a second and check out the kunai you know original sl2 senko kunai <laughs> okay um storm uh character update as well there is the new sirachia uh, boss so i'm gonna just enter the arena Oh, we, we can do that match. Two teams. Check out, yo, Sriracha looks fucking sick, bro. Look at the drip. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna lie, bro. Sriracha got some fucking drip. Oh, so, uh, the first move, obviously, she got the stomp out. And then she can combo extend with the sword. And then it's mainly shuriken types because, um, the lightning shurikens, low damage, uh, because he already has like two high damage things. Uh, this right here, the Ryan shuriken, because her dad's, you know, Ryan. And, uh, because her mom is, um, uh, well, you know, soccer in the show, but you got the rock fist, the e spec, air combo. So you got an air combo, a combo extender, two combo extenders. This character is like kind of a fucking must dude. Uh, just to the, 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 the Sharingan abilities, and then she still got the stomp out. So the first one is still the stomp out. <laughs> and then you got the uh, the shurikens. This right here. And then um, obviously she you got the, the samurai on um, M1s. Uh, last move, uh, hit me. So you got that for the, the last move. So uh, now the Sriracha boss, it spawns with its Samurai Spirit. Now all the Akumas will spawn with a Samurai Spirit because um, her mode is no longer a thing in Shindo. Now before you freak out, you, you're going to see what we did. All right. So so the Sriracha um, spawns with Spirit. Now it's only it's not 4 million. It's uh, 800k. So oh my god. <laughs> Fight Sriracha and her Spirit. That's how you get, by the way, that's how you get the full uh, Samurai Spirit now. All you have to do is kill that Samurai Spirit and you get the full Samurai Spirit. Um, there's going to be new game modes coming out. So um, you guys have might have noticed where's the war game mode. War game mode is no longer a thing. Um, war game mode, Gladiator, it's no longer a thing. Um, and it's going to be replaced. So 
open world is gonna be a new game mode coming it's gonna be uh the shindo world remastered so what we're doing is we're gonna be upgrading the open shindo world adding kind of random randomized mob spawns uh during your missions um and it's gonna be pvp pvm and it's gonna give hello rewards in roy rel coins xp and it's gonna be a different experience we're gonna try to make this uh kind of like maybe hardcore ish we're, we're gonna make this a more open world uh pvm pvp like more of a rpg type of game instead of it just being in the village uh you click a scroll and you go it's gonna be more open world i know a lot of people are getting hyped for seeing this now uh there's two time uh time tales there's gen one and gen two so Generation 1 will be in Shindo Dungeons. You can now get Roy and XP. So this EXP is equal to, I think, 10 to 15 green scroll missions at max level. So it doesn't matter if you're level 100, 200. You can come in here, play in any dungeon. Now, it doesn't require you any like 0 out of 6 to complete the dungeon. You can play any dungeon you want. And now there's a Tine Stone. The Tine Stone drops a Tentail Spirit, 1 out of 10. So you're going to get 700 Rel Coins for just doing it. 4 spins, 420 uh, Roy, 13 million EXP. And no longer, you're no longer to required to do 0 out of 6. You can click any one and just play it. And then um, you can see there are different EXPs. You can grind EXP, grind money. Um, and the NPCs in these game modes, they've been, they've been upgraded a little bit better. They're a bit smarter and they can track from farther distance. So that's about it is tournament. Now, this has been something I've been working on for a while. Um, well, I've been thinking about how I would want to do a future, um, OACB, right? And I wanted to make it open for everyone. So tournament. You, no matter what level you are, if you're level 200, you can still play it. At, we, we thought of all, every single concept, so it works on dual stats. Now, the modes in duels has also been fixed. So uh, when you duel, your mode is going to be set at 10,000 max. So you can be able to use modes. So I'm going to hop into tournament and it gives EXP. It's equivalent to doing uh, missions in Shindo. It's equivalent to the Roy. It gives rel coins and it gets you big rules you can see the rules here so the Tai kendo tournament so these are the white the white so the main five elements martial arts kenjutsu troubles consumables weapons available it doesn't matter what level you are you can play this game mode and it's literally taijutsu kenjutsu uh you can't use the kenjutsu move so you guys see how my, my health set up to 300k 150 this is everyone it's on mode stats and um you can't glitch out of the arena right so the way you can't glitch out of the arena if you glitch out of the arena it tells you about uh teleports you back in so oh wait i got you dude you gotta make it level 300 to pvp oh now look at my rel coins i had 5.7k i believe and then i win the tournament all right so that was 5.7k rel coins right now look at that it gives massive amount of rel coins Look at my level, bro. That, that, that level's going. That level's going. That, that level's going up. Like, it's still going. Like, it's still going. I gained 190 levels just from playing this once. Okay, now, just to recap. Now that war mode is gone, to get full samurai spirits, you literally walk up to, like, the boss, like, Bankai Okuma, and it drops the full samurai spirit. Oh, yeah, and then, and then when he killed the Bankai full spirit, it drops the, <laughs> it drops the, uh, scroll we're excited to rework the the tine or the ten tail spirit um because it's been a while since we've touched this and we want to make it look a lot cleaner a lot better um it's gonna have new abilities it's not gonna just be you know some random crap it's gonna have you know some nice abilities within it nice concepts and it's literally gonna be like you know how how you know it's gonna be magic the tine tail gen 2 behind us you know is a scroll spawn and um it's gonna be a boss battle so and obviously you can get the one in the dungeon you can go get that it's one out of ten both of them um but you know